first came up, you'd be pretty happy with that, wouldn't you, Sherrod? That, that would be almost the ideal start to your career here at Westgate. Yeah, I was happy, um, most happy with the win. I think um, the position we were in, we really needed to make sure we did get a win, so that's probably what I was most happy with. Um, personal level, I was, I was happy I got my hands on the ball. It's probably a bit rusty and um, lacking a bit of synchronicity with the other boys, but yeah, it was really good to be out there. Your fitness seemed to be quite good. How did you manage to maintain that given that you had the, you had the ankle injury? Um, yeah, we got a, a good uh, conditioning coach, I suppose. Um, definitely put me through my paces over the last... Um, 10, 10 weeks and so yeah I definitely had confidence also having probably done um, one of the bigger pre seasons that I'd done I had uh, a fair bit of confidence in the work that I put in over summer as well. How frustrating was it coming to a new club and then obviously not being able to play for so long at the start of the season? It, yeah it was really really frustrating especially um, you know being my first real long term injury I had to come to grips with that as well and um, that was kind of new ground for me and you know um, finding ways to stay fit like like I was saying before and finding ways to um, stay busy and kind of stay around the boys and not feel isolated and segregated I suppose is one of the other things you have to get used to um, and yeah like I said being in a new club made it a little bit more difficult but as as I said the boys were really good the whole time I was out and um, yeah to be out there on the weekend was really really good. Did you cop much criticism for the way that you got injured? Yeah, I'm not too sure. I tried not to take too much notice of it, really. I think, uh, yeah, accidents happen. I'm not going to wrap myself in cotton wool, I suppose. So it was just a bit, un bit unlucky, I suppose. Can you tell us exactly how it happened? I fell off the trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> um, when it happened, sorry, when it happened, did you sort of know straight away, oh, no, I thumb you by your ankle? Yeah, I, I, I thought I'd broken my leg, to be honest. And, um, yeah, I gave uh, Serge Miller a call and, um, yeah, informed him that I thought I'd hurt myself and... He just said, yeah, there's not a lot we can do at the moment. And so just come in in the morning and, um, yeah, got the scans done and, yeah, the diagnosis obviously came out of what it was. How was John about all that? Um, oh, he was, he was really supportive. Obviously told me that I was a bit of an idiot, but, um, which, I, which I was. So, you know, um, you know, he just said to make sure that I get myself right, do the, do the work in rehab and um, make sure that I'm ready to go when I, when I, get, it, when I get it right. You know, it's really days, I guess, comparing midfields for a strong one, and Collingwood coming across here, albeit just through the pre-season and a game. Do you, do you sort of gauge um, the class of, I guess, the youth of the Eagles midfield against what you're accustomed to at Collingwood? Yeah, it's probably the, the main thing I have uh, come to notice is the youth. I didn't realise how young a list we do have here, especially running through the midfield with um, with Scooter, um, Masto, and and Shuey. You know, I didn't. Um, they're, they're, they're really young guys, and um, you know we've we've got a nice core group there, and then we've got the maturity and experience in um, Coxie and, and Curry, so I think um, it's a good mix at the moment, and um, you know uh, hopefully I'll be able to add add a bit to it. I guess um, having number nine out there and, and the, the buzz that he creates uh, must be a joy to sit under the footy when he's nearby. Yeah, I was I was a bit unlucky. I didn't get to get too many hits off him yesterday. I was um, a bit too far away, but it was good being out there when he when he ran out to the ground and. Uh, the crowd certainly erupted, and um, I thought something was going on behind play. It was just Nick running on, but um, no, it was really, really good to have him out there, and um, yeah, hopefully he can stay out there for the rest of the year. Did the team get a bit of a lift out of that as well? It seemed like everyone got a bit of an extra spring in their step when he came out. Yeah, I think um, you know he definitely not only gets the fans up, but he gets the boys up as well. You know, they get a lot of confidence knowing that he's going to have a foot and a half above the ruckman um, when he's jumping for it, and so you got you got a lot of confidence, and I think. Um, Midfield boys definitely get up on their toes, and then that relays onto the forwards. And we know we're going to get our hands on a lot more. Jared, is there a sense because of the nature of your injury? Is there a sense that you you owe the club a little bit this this year, and in terms of what you need to do between now and the end of the season? Um, I think I I owe the club anyway. I think it was it was I was really lucky to be able to come home and um, find myself at the club that I wanted to go to. So you know I I was really grateful from the time I walked in the doors, and so you know um, I'll be doing everything right. Even though I was a bit unlucky to have injured myself, um, you know, I think I owe the club anyway. So was the role you played yesterday the one we can expect you to play going forward, do you think, or do you expect that to change a little bit? I think that, that's pretty much what we, um, we'll come to expect. I, I think I played forward for the first quarter and a half and then ran around the midfield and then ended, um, ended the game in the back line. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that'll be what will be happening for most of the year. So I'm, I'm, I'm really liking that. I like um, I liked that I can be used all the way around the ground. Um, yeah, really liking that. How was your fitness in the last quarter yesterday? Are you, are you still running pretty strongly? Yeah, I was, I was actually saying to the boys this morning, I was probably the most 
spent probably uh, halfway through the second quarter and then um, you know had my second win come through and then yeah, I felt like I was still running on top of the ground towards the end of the game, which was, which I was really happy with. Were you surprised that you were still doing that at the end of the game? Yeah, yeah, well, I actually was, which um, you know, I had a chat to Kofi this morning and kind of just said thanks for putting me through my hard yards over the pre-season. And how have you pulled up today? Yeah, excellent. I've, um, I'll probably be a bit sore tomorrow, but um, yeah, today I feel really good. Can you give us a bit of an insight as to the rehab that you had and how you've been able to come back after one waffle game and be able to run out of full game? Um, yeah, I think uh, from from day one, I think I started I started training, you know, um, swimming, kayaking, biking, um, and then, you know, as soon as I had the boot off, we've got um, we're pretty lucky we've got the Ultra G machine down there, which is a the weight bearing um, treadmill down there. So as soon as I was out of the boot that day, I was able to um, get walking, and then two days later, I was running. So it was, it was pretty lucky that I can get a huge volume of um, running in before being back on the ground. How long did you have the boot on for? No, the boot was on for a month, okay. so it was a fair while. Um, but I think, I, 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 I guess I was pretty lucky. I um, I didn't lose much muscle in my in my leg, which is one of the things that does happen a fair bit when people are kind of um, immobile for a while in in those boots. So you, you lose a lot of muscle strength. But I think I think I was pretty lucky that I didn't lose too much. And in terms of getting around and just day to day stuff, how much does it affect you when you on those giant boots? Off? The the boots aren't too bad. It's more the um, I was on the crutches for two weeks. Um, they're they're the more annoying thing. And, um, yeah, crutches are hellish. But not too keen on them. I try not to get injured again. Touch wood. How's life back in Perth? Yeah, it's really good. Um, you know, I was a bit uh, you know a bit worried about how I'd settle back into being back in back in Perth. But um, having been in Melbourne, I was there for six years, so you know you get used to the big city and. Um, you know, having lots of other teams around and not being under the magnifying glass and things like that. But um, you know, it's been it's been really good. It was it was amazing being back here for a whole summer and enjoying the uh, beach and stuff like that. So I'm really happy I made the move. What made you want to come home? You said that you were grateful to West Coast for for getting you home. What what was the driving force behind coming home? Um, just I think uh, family and just my friends and things like that. I just I, I miss being back in Perth pretty much. I just um, I love Melbourne and I you know. I really enjoyed my time there, but um, I don't think I was going to live there for the rest of my life. So I thought I want to go home, and you know, West Coast was a team that I supported as a as a kid. And I think with the list we got at the moment, we've got an opportunity to be successful on field, and so you know, that's what I want to be part of. You played in a lot of big games, the MCG. What's the atmosphere like at Sumi when they get thirty six to forty thousand in all screaming? Yeah, it, it's amazing. You know, the atmosphere here is really good. I think it's um, probably. It's a different atmosphere in that you know um, when it's our home game, every nearly the whole crowd's going for you. So you know you're not copying 50-50 crowds, which which I think is really good. And um, so far, um, yesterday I really enjoyed it.